my name is Erin. I'm a sophomore and I'm studying math education. I just got into NEAG. My name is Leanne Hennessy. I'm a junior from Albany, New York. I study public health at UConn. Um, I'm also a member of UConn's chapter of Alpha Phi Omega. We're a national co-ed service fraternity and we take care of Jonathan and pay for his care and maintenance and walk him about once a week and also bring him to cool events like football games and alumni events and other things like that. I became involved with Jonathan through a uh, co-ed service fraternity called Alpha Phi Omega. We got the rights to Jonathan in 1970, so I've been a handler since the spring of my sophomore year. Basically what happened was there was like people didn't really want him on campus anymore for some reason because they thought that he represented the establishment. I think it was t around the time of the Vietnam War. So there was a student petition that kept him on campus and that's when we took over his care and since then we've been responsible for him financially. So Jonathan became the mascot. They decided to use a live Husky mascot in 1935, I think it was, um, once they became the Connecticut Huskies rather than the Connecticut Aggies. And they named him Jonathan, it was a student body vote, and they named him Jonathan after Jonathan Trumbull, who was a Revolutionary War hero. In Alpha Phi Omega, there's probably about 50 members, and of the 50 of us, there are 10 handlers. I became a handler last fall. Um, I applied last spring, so I took a quiz and did um, like a handling session to just get practice with him, and that's when I was allowed to become a handler. So last fall, I started walking him once a week and started bringing him to events, which was really fun, and it was great to get involved in within the chapter. Um, anyone who's interested in within our chapter is allowed to take a quiz on his history, so certain things like where was he born, um, his age, um, how many Jonathans there have been to date, that sort of thing, just kind of background knowledge on Jonathan as a whole and our current Jonathan. And there's also the handling session where you kind of go through scenarios where if you bring him to an event or also just being able to have a natural feel for the dog and being able to control him and kind of make sure that he responds to commands and that, those sort of things. Jonathan the 13th, he's 10, his birthday is in December. And Jonathan the 14th was born in Arkansas and we got him from a breeder, I think it's called Husky Harbor. It's kind of cool. He, I'm not really sure he's one of like a bunch of puppies, but we, we got him. Obviously it's not a chore, like I never feel like it's like going out of my way, but it is a big, pretty big time commitment. Um, I, I mean, I've probably brought him, probably bring him to about a half a dozen events every semester and we walk every single week. So a typical walk would be, it's about an hour long. We will walk on the trail. Usually there's a trail behind the host family's house. So we'll walk on that. Um, for, it takes about 45 minutes and then we'll have them play in the playpen on their little uh, jungle gym type thing for 15 to 20 minutes or so. So whenever you walk um, as a handler, you always walk with another handler, at least one other one. So you'll do the trail and you'll play. And they usually get about three walks a day. So the host family is responsible for the ones like before and after work. But our, us as handlers, we are uh, solely responsible for the ones during the day. Definitely the hardest thing is when you bring him on campus or to certain events, there are so many people who always come up to you and you want to give them that opportunity to see him and meet him, take a picture with him, pet him, whatever. And sometimes it's just really tough when we're on our way to events and we ha are in such a time crunch. So we're, we can't always give everyone the opportunity to take a picture with him or do whatever. But we try to be as open to that as we can. But sometimes it's just really hard when you have to be a certain place at a certain time. It's fun to see people that, um, you know, they come up to you and, you know, are so excited to see Jonathan, especially when, you know, I've never seen him before or I'm a senior and it's been my goal to see him, you know, before I graduate. That's really exciting. It's a little, it's stressful for the dogs in the respect that if, you know, people come up to them without, you know, warning or, you know, they go up and hug them from behind or they want to take a selfie and, you know, we are, you know, so happy to take pictures or have people take pictures for you. Um, but it's important that we remember that they are dogs and they're not just celebrities that, you know, can be bombarded by the paparazzi whenever. He lives this crazy life. You also have to recognize certain limits to him and just that he can't always do everything and you just have to be kind of cognizant of that. It's hard in the respect that it's a lot of time. It's a big commitment. I've, you know, I've driven upwards of an hour to bring him to an event, um, but it's so worth it to see, you know, how excited people get when he's there and to, you know, see how much popularity he's gained since, you know, the past couple years with social media. It's, it's so fun and like I saw myself on the Yukon, um, you had Instagram the other day, so it's like really exciting in that respect. Um, so it's hard, but it's definitely worth it. It's really something that's really special to my experience at UConn because not everyone can say, you know, they see Jonathan, they work with him once a week or even more than that. And I think it kind of brings UConn like closer to home to make it more of a personal 
experience, I guess. And it's kind of cute. You see him on TV or on Instagram, Facebook, and you kind of just be like, oh, I've met him before. I see him all the time. And it's just something that I look forward to every day, and it's something I never forget. He's a dog, so you know you get the love from the dog. And when you walk in the house and you see them, and they get so excited to see you, and it's just like your dogs at home. You know, like my favorite part of going home is seeing my dogs, and they just go nuts when that you know you walk in the door. And it's the same. It's the same exact thing for them. You know, building that relationship with them and having them recognize you. And you know, when it's not my walking day, but I'm walking around campus and they're on campus and they see me, they know me, and like that's really fun for me to like. You know, it's it's a big time commitment. It's a lot of effort for me, so it's really rewarding to see that you know they'll respond to me and that they really they love me. And I think that's you know that's so awesome.